If you are visiting our channel for the first time, please subscribe first to get the latest updates. Hello everyone. Our today's lecture is very important because we are going to learn a method of partial fraction decomposition. In our previous lecture, we have seen the concept of partial fraction decomposition or partial fraction expansion. What is meant by this or what is the concept of partial fraction decomposition? But today we are going to apply the method that how you can find the the partial fractions by uh, partial fractions if you are given with a single or the resultant fraction. So we will uh, use a step by step method and the example is given we have to decompose this fraction into the partial fractions. We have the step number one. This is a simpler example. We will discuss the complex ones in the next few lectures. Currently you have to understand the basic method that you have to use in order to resolve the in order to uh, to resolve the fraction the fractions into the partial fractions so the step number 1 is check the given fraction should be should be in proper rational fraction form we have already discussed the concept of proper rational fraction form in which we have seen that the given fraction should have the uh, should have the degree of the denominator greater as compared to the numerator so we have to check that is the degree of denominator is greater as compared to the numerator if yes then it's in proper form and if not then you have to convert it into proper form using the long division method but in our case as it is clearly seen from this from here that the power of x is 2 in the denominator and the power of x is 1 in the numerator so we need not to convert it into the proper form as it is already in the proper rational fraction form. So we need not to use the long division method in order to convert this into the proper rational fraction form. Okay. So the step number two is factor the denominator. That means you have to make the factors of the denominator if it is not in the factorized form. So let's see whether we need to make here or not. Here we have x into x plus form. It's already in the simplified or the factorized form. So we can say that we have the two factors here. That is x and x plus 1. So it is already in the factorized form. So we need not to simplify the denominator. So uh, the step number 2 is done here. Then we have the step number 3. Keep this in mind. You have to use these steps in every uh, expression given uh, in which you have to decompose into the partial fractions. So step number 3 is you have to write each factor separately. Each factor that we, we have found in step number 2. Factor separately with unknown numerators to be found. Let's see what does it mean with unknown numerators. Since there are two factors, so we will have two unknown numerators. So let's say we have A and B. Be the two numerators that are unknown here and that we have to find in order to decompose into the partial fractions. So it, the value, the number of unknown numerators depend on the number of factors. As we have two factors, so we, we will have two unknown numerators. So we can write it as 3x plus 2 divided by x into x plus 1 is equals to one numerator is a with one factor plus another numerator is b with one factor that is x plus 1 okay and we will call it an equation number 1 as we have to use, use this later in the next steps okay so this was step number 3 now what is the step number 4 step number 4 is take lcm of right hand side of equation number 1 let's see how we can do that we were having the equation as 3x plus 2 divided by x into x plus 1 equals to a divided by x plus b divided by x plus 1. Now we have to take the LCM of just right hand side. So I will write as 3x plus 2 divided by x into x plus 1 equals to x into x plus 1 where a into x plus 1 plus b into x. So here what we have to do? We have to cancel the same things. This is same. This is same. These are as in they are in division. When they will be multiplying, then they will be cancelled out. 
so we will cancel them here and we will get an equation 3x plus 2 that is equals to a into x plus 1 plus b into x so this is another equation that is equation number 2 now this is the step four. This is the step four. Now, what is the step number five? Step number five is now find the constants a and b. Find constants a and b. Now, let's see how you can find that the constants a and b. Now, the value we can find the constants a and b by making use of the factors. As we have the two factors, that is x and x plus one, so we can say that. The value of x is 1 is x is equal to 0 and 1 is x is equal to minus 1. As we have two factors and we can get it from there. So the one value of the factor is x is equal to 0 and the other is x is equal to minus 1. So by putting these values of x in equation 2, we can get the value of a and b. So let's start putting it. First we put the value of x equal to 0 in equation what we will get 3 into 0 plus 2 equals to a into 0 plus 1 plus b into 0 then we will get 2 is equals to a hence the value of a is 2 so we have got the value of a now what left is the value of b now we will put x equals to minus 1 in equation 2 in order to get the value of b so I will write 3 into minus 1 plus 2 equals to a into minus 1 plus 1 plus b into minus 1. We will get minus 3 plus 2 equals as this will be cancelled out minus 1 plus 1 is 0 and it will become minus b minus 1 equals to minus b so b is equals to 1. So we have got the value of b as well. So, we have got the value of a and b. Now, what is the final step? Step number step number 6 is, this is the final step. Put the value of a and b in equation 1 that we have seen in the, um, uh, in equation 1 that we have seen in the step number 3. So, put the value of a and b in equation 1. Let's write the equation 1. What was that? That was 3x plus 2 divided by x into x plus 1 equals to a divided by x plus b divided by x plus 1. Now we have got the value of a and b as a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 1. So we have to put the values in this in the equation above as 3x plus 2 divided by x into x plus 1 is equals to 2 divided by x plus 1 divided by x plus 1. So that's it. This is from uh, all from the uh, decomposition of the partial fractions and we have got the partial fractions uh, by using the partial fraction decomposition method. So from here we can say that this is the resultant fraction and these are the partial fractions. So, these step, these six steps will provide you with the partial fractions of the resultant fractions. So, hope so it will help you a lot. In our next lectures, we will discuss the further the rules of the partial fractions and some complex examples. So, stay tuned till then. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates. Thank you.